Hey, today I am going to show you how to create videos like these. So as you can see, uh, it looks like one video at first, but if you full screen it, uh, it turns into a different video. So basically how it works is that Discord retains the first uh, frame of the image if you play a video, but uh, you can use transparency uh, and it will still look the same. But if you full screen it, uh, you can see it will actually just uh, show parts of the original image. And this way, uh, it you can make it look like a completely different uh, image. The limitation of this trick is that the source footage uh, cannot have any color in it. So if you want to have a color, like here you can see the sea is blue and the sky is gray, uh, then you must uh, make sure that your original image has the same colors in the places you want them. All you can do is you can like make the parts black or you can make them the color um, that your original image was like. So let's uh, quickly create a new video like this. You're going to need a image you're going to use as the decoy and a mature video that you're going to hide in it. You should uh, start off by creating two new compositions, one for the decoy image and one for the full screen image. You can then place the decoy footage into the uh, decoy composition and you can like add whatever edits you want. And then the second thing you want to do is you want to come here, you want to create a new solid that is black and then you can import your footage. And how it works is that the light parts are going to be taken from this image and the dark parts are going to be black. So I went ahead and changed the troll to be white because then you will see this like candy rings through it and the background will be black, which will probably look better. So now you're going to want to combine them in one composition. So I'm going to create a new composition and call it name. And here you're going to want to go to your full screen composition and look up an effect called uh, set channels. And in this uh, effect, you can change this value here to be luminance. Now this here might look a little odd, but that's okay. Uh, what you want to do next is you're going to want to duplicate the decoy layer and make it so that this one here only lasts for one frame. And these two here, uh, don't appear in the first frame. So on the first frame, you only have this decoy and in all the following frames, you have these two. Now you're going to want to come to this uh, decoy under full screen and change the track mat to be alpha. And if you don't see this option here, uh, you can probably get it by clicking this button. And now you can see a preview of what your video will look like in full screen. So this first frame is what they see uh, without full screen, and this is what they will see with full screen. So this is pretty much it um, for the editing part, but now you're going to want to export it. I'm going to use Adobe Media Encoder, uh, so I'm just going to drag this composition in there and go in the settings. From here, I'm going to change the format to WebM. And if you don't see the WebM format, then uh, you can visit this site to download a plugin that adds this option. I'll put the link to this in the description. So now that you're here, um, you must change around a few settings. So here you can see uh, the codec is set to VP9 for me. If it's set to VP8, you should change it to VP9. Uh, then here you can change your quality settings. I recommend setting the quality to something high because it makes artifacts less likely to show up but you can just tweak and adjust it to see what uh, gives you the file size you're looking for. Now here you are going to want to check this uh, box that says include alpha channel. And now you can render this video. So the render is done and uh, we can now see if our uh, video works. So as you can see, when I try to play this, 
Uh, you might notice there's like a little bit of artifacting, but that aside, it just looks like the candy image that we made. But if we go full screen, you can see it shows the other uh, image. So that's how you can create your own um, full screen theme meme videos. Um, I hope this tutorial is uh, good enough because I made it in quite a rush, but uh, thanks for watching and have fun.